the Patriots began the season two and one. Then came Kansas City. We didn't play well at all. We gave up big plays, we turned the ball over. So we came in at halftime. We were talking about adjustments and all that, but I didn't really feel like that's what the game was about at all. I felt like the game was just really about competition. And that's what I told the team at halftime. I said, this second half is gonna define our season. You know, I wanna see what kind of football team we have. I'm not that concerned about the score. Until we start competing better, until we start playing harder, and all the X's and O's and adjustments and all that aren't gonna make any difference. On the scoreboard, it only got worse. Pick off. That's awful. Absolutely awful. New England suffered its most lopsided defeat in 11 years. There's gonna be some loud music out there. There's gonna be people questioning play calling, personnel grouping. We took criticism from everybody, everywhere. It's entirely possible to see how ineffective the Patriots have been on offense over the first four weeks and suggest that they are fatally flawed and there is something horribly wrong with them to the extent that even Tom Brady and Bill Belichick can't fix it. It was also worth wondering if the Patriots' incredible dynasty died at Arrowhead Stadium, too. That's how bad the 41-14 loss was. The Patriots have never looked this incompetent in the Belichick-Brady era. The best part of that is they were telling Tommy that he was all done. Will the quarterback position be evaluated? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing better that can happen to get his competitive juices going. So thank you to all the people and media people who did that. When I walked off the field that night. Seven years ago, on this field, the Patriots lost a chance for an undefeated season. This time, Bill Belichick wasn't asking his players to be perfect. He just wanted them to do their job. There's no mystery here, fellas. It's trusting each other and everybody doing their job. It may be the one word that isn't in that uh, sentence that's implied but not stated is um, do your job well. Take care of the one or two, three things that we've emphasized all week, you know, we'll be okay what this rookie's thinking, and he could not have played this better. But none of his heroics seemed to matter after Curse's catch. First and goal at the five. 106 to play. Russell under center. He hands the lynch. He goes left. He pounds it down the line. Unbelievable play by Hightower. Unbelievable play. The most unsung, but the biggest play of the Super Bowl. From up in the box, I mean, it looks wide open. I mean, it was wide open. I remember texting two days later. I said, have you seen this play? I said, how in the world did you do this? He bench presses Okun off of him, and he tackles Lynch with his shoulder. And I but we do try to make sure we're ready for anything that's going to come up on a Sunday. So much work went into that. I mean, I can't tell you how many guys got that same route. Jamie had it twice in practice. Chung had it about two times in practice. Malcolm had it twice. We went through it with everybody. It was a feeling unlike any I've ever had, I can tell you that. You're not going to have that feeling that, that many times in life in general. Um, and I remember turning around and I saw Tom's face. <laughs> he looked like a child. Oh, my God! I know how hard he works and how much time he puts in to see him respond and react like that was it was worth it that was awesome to see those guys come through and make a play like that in that situation in as much stress and pressure as you can possibly imagine I mean I don't think you really could be any prouder they were denied perfection seven years ago they're going to cap the 2014 season with a perfect ending. You dream about that happening as a coach. 